an engineering feat of our time, the Apollo Saturn V is ready to go. The flight termed the Apollo 4 mission will take place shortly from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Apollo Saturn is the mammoth combination of the Apollo spacecraft and the three-stage Saturn V vehicle conceived here at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. From the drawing board to finished product, that has been the unique job of thousands of engineers, many of them the same old-time rocketeers who built the Redstone, Jupiter, and Saturn I. Saturn management is centered at the Marshall Center, where much of the first stage development work was also done. Computers and sophisticated machines are vital tools for rocket developers, allowing them to do their jobs more efficiently, more quickly, and with greater accuracy. Operating room sterile, clean rooms, are a part of the everyday scene at the Rocket Development Center, for it is here the guidance and control, propellant-sensitive, and particle-free systems are put together. Welding 33-foot diameter aluminum tanks has produced welding and metallurgy changes. The first stage for this vehicle and the one to follow were assembled by the Marshall Center and the Boeing Company at the Huntsville Space Installation. Second stage fabrication takes place at the North American Rockwell, Seal Beach, California facility, and McDonnell Douglas Corporation makes the third stage at Huntington Beach, California. IBM Huntsville makes the instrument unit or brain of the vehicle. The 300,000 pound booster is secured to this massive stand for captive test of its liquid oxygen kerosene propellant system. Loud and hot. Five Rocketdyne F-1 engines send their throaty roar across the Tennessee Valley. Engines are gimbaled, valves move, temperatures checked. All test data is recorded in a nearby control center for evaluation. Less dramatic, but as important, are the tests following captive firing. Computer-controlled tests check the stage closely to determine if everything is working properly. The booster is loaded on the NASA barge Poseidon for the 2,000-mile trip down the Tennessee, Ohio, and Mississippi rivers, across the Gulf, and into Cape Kennedy. Now the 363-foot-tall Apollo Saturn V awaits the signal to thunder into space more than five years after it became a space agency program. Soon the fully-fueled, six-million-pound vehicle will send the Apollo spacecraft on an 11,000-mile journey preparatory to making a manned trip to the moon. <laughs>